Hey everybody, Jake here, and I have a couple unboxings real quick today. Um, the first one here is actually a flashlight. This is a Lumitop EDC-01 from Massdrop, and I also have a Kaiser Feist. So we'll get to that one in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. Very cute uh, Japanese-esque packaging. You can see this is the winter color. They have one for each season as well as a regular black color. And um, there's a lot of Japanese writing on here that my wife was able to decipher most of it. And I forget what most of it means. I know that's winter. That's flashlight. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this has been unboxed accidentally by my wife before she knew I was going to do this video, but I didn't see it, so it, it totally counts. So this is just going to be my kind of initial impressions of, you know, whatever is in here. I think it's flashlight, though, I'm pretty certain. Very nice packaging, though. It feels pretty, pretty high quality. That is adorable. That is the tiniest little thing. Oh, wow. What is, what is this? I don't know what that is. Oh. Okay. Does it have a battery in it? It does not. I will have to grab a AAA very, very quickly. Un momento, por favor. The only thing that TV remotes are good for is for losing them and um, stealing batteries from them. That's what I've what I found the best things TV remotes are used for. Okay, so this is a triple A light, so we'll just slot that triple A down in there. And go ahead and screw that on. Oh, that's a that's an interesting little light. Not a lot of grip on it. I'll I'll give you that. But to be honest, I really don't think there needs to be. Hmm. I cannot get it to come back on. That's rather interesting. I may have to look into the directions on this. But it's a very, very nice little flashlight. Um, I am going to be keeping this on my keychain more than likely, so this little keychain accessory is a nice inclusion. There goes the flashlight again. I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up. This, um, is it like a cap or something? or I, I don't know. It's some sort of rubberish thing and they also include um, a couple spare o-rings in there which is very very nice of them so overall impressions are pretty good on this so far um, the build quality is very very nice the texturing is pretty good and I'm not really seeing any issues the only thing I can tell is that a little bit of hiccup with that that may be the uh, the battery not so much in the flashlight it isn't insanely bright but I think for what I use it for, it'll be just fine. But we'll have the review of that coming up at some point. Go ahead and get everything put back in here, if it will all fit. And it won't, but it's fine. I'm not really going to keep it in here anyway. Let's go and go on to the uh, main course. <clears throat> this is the Kaiser Feist. So, um, quick shout out here. I got this from, I purchased this from Indiana Knives. Um, they, it's, it was, it's run by a guy named Eric and Eric was kind enough to give me a discount on this to pick it up. So thanks a ton, Eric. Go check out his shop, please. Um, they have very good prices on things and he is very good at communication. I got very fast responses in my dealings with him. He's very, very nice. Also, um, Kaiser Feist. I believe it's out of stock at the moment. You may be able to hit him up and see if he's able to get any, but they're about $18 cheaper than anywhere else that I can find on the internet at his place, about $150 retail at, at his store. So that's a pretty good price compared to 168 other places. Let's go ahead and get into it though. Um, this is not my first Kaiser, but it is my first like higher end Kaiser. I did have the KI3 Ford WDI KL Clicker Compact thing. So that was nice. Um, this box is going to be a bit stubborn. The packaging is very nice on this, though. 
And just to show you real quick, it does say Kaiser Feist, Justin Lundquist, all that stuff. Uh, made in China. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, this is nice. I always thought Kaiser's came in like a little uh, foam package thing, but this is this is nice. It's kind of a, a textured um, black case you can see here. Oh, this is probably the top where it says Kaiser. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, that presentation. Oh, 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 dude. Okay, so that's cool. So, uh, Eric was kind enough to throw in a, a koozie here. So, huge shout out to him. I'm gonna, definitely gonna be using that. Think, thanks, Eric. I'm um, also, guys, I will leave a link down to his, uh, his shop in the notes. So, definitely check that out. Okay, so we have the Kaiser Taco Pouch in here. We have a massive microfiber cloth and uh, Kaiser warranty information. Go ahead and set that to the side, kind of over there in that general area. This is pretty cool. He's in Bloomington, Indiana, if you're there, but there's the link to his website, Indiana Knives. Really, really cool guy. Thanks again, Eric. And let's go ahead and open this up. Um, that is a comically large zipper. I do not have super duper tiny hands. That is just a hilariously sized zipper. That's amazing. It's literally like three times the size of a normal zipper. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. Very good zipper quality though. I mean, it better be this, it being this huge. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. that's cool. So he has an Indian nice business card. And he wrote, thanks Jake on here. Thank you, Eric. So uh, there's his info if you want to get in touch with him at all, his website and all that stuff. Like I said, I'll leave that all down in the description as well. So a quick look at the pouch before we take it out. There are three slots in here, which is nice. So if you do need to carry knives, this is a, a good option. And on to the knife itself. So I've wanted one of these for a while. And oh, wow. This is nice. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> First impressions, I really like the flashlight. I'm loving this knife. This thing is amazing. Um, I really like front flippers. As y'all know, I do have the G5 Metamorph. Let me bring it out real quick for a size comparison. It is a lot bigger than this though. So um, I'm very interested in this little knife. This thing looks amazing. <clears throat> it's very, very thin. Love the pocket clip on it. Uh, the spine is crowned. I don't think I've covered this before, but one of my favorite details on a knife is a spine crowning. Very, very good size. Very tiny, but let's take a look at the action. Oh, okay. The detent isn't as strong as on my Metamorph, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm so used to having to press so hard. Yeah, the, the lock bar tension on here is fantastic. Do that way to get a little bit better light. And the blade shape's really good. The ergos are nice. Um, the pocket clip does stick up a little bit into my hand, but that's not a huge issue. Um, I do wish the jumping were a little bit farther up, maybe something like that, but this is, this is nice. I like this a lot. Holy crap. Oh, this thing's just screaming for some anodization. The action's really good. Centering. Just a quick check there. Darn near perfect. Fairly stiff pocket clip, but it looks like it has a decent amount of ramp. I don't think it'll give you any issues in the pocket. Really nice minimal backspacer there. Just enough for you to work with so you could get some nice contrast coloring. Very, very nice knife. That, that blade spine feels amazing. Um, real quick here you can see uh, the model number there. KI3499, S35 VN Steel, Kaiser Branding. I wish they had moved that up here, but it's not a huge deal. And Feist, Justin Lundquist. This is a very, very cool little knife. Very, very cool. It is very smooth and honestly amazing. This is, this is impressive. Wow. This is a lot better fit and finish than the Kaiser that I picked up. It's also in a much higher price point. Um, like I said, on Indian Knives, you can pick this up for about 150 bucks. 
Um, everywhere else you're going to pay about 168 This thing is super smooth. The titanium scales are very, very nice. They're rounded. It's It feels very nice in the hand. This is like a very, very, very cool um, gentleman's knife. And it's sized about appropriately. Um, go ahead and bring out the metamorph here again. And you can see, even when it's opened up, the metamorph just appears more intimidating. Now, as far as useful blade length, the metamorph has a major advantage. But like I said, it also looks more intimidating. This is much more minimal with just a touch of flare with the pivot. Um, very interesting blade shape. Very, very, very nice fit and finish on this. The metamorph fit and finish is pretty good as well. I really enjoy this knife, honestly. The action's very good on both. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's really, 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 not really nice. Um, I know the metamorph can be a bit hard to get a hold of, so let me bring out um, another smaller knife. Here's the CRKT Pilar. So you can see lengthwise, um, it's a little bit shorter in both the blade and the handle, and quite a bit wider. It also weighs a good bit more. This knife is very, very light. Um, it's not it's not as light as like the ZTO for 50 CF, but it's made entirely out of titanium, so you can't really expect much else. But this is this is very very nice. Oh wow, that's that's incredible. I'm I'm going to have the full review of this coming up soon, but this is this is very impressive already. Gotta be honest with you. This is this is amazing just wow so that's um, it for the unboxings and initial impressions the review of these two will be coming up at some point but yeah um, very very cool little knife very interesting little flashlight check out Eric at IndianaKnives.com order from him save like 18 bucks on your uh, Kaiser Feist there and thanks for tuning in um, don't forget to check out my subscribe button like here and the video recommendations up here. And also, if you'd like to, you can go check out my Patreon. I'll leave that down in the link as well. Thanks, guys. Bye.